Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to share with you start to finish the process of making this mixed media piece. So I started off with a piece of A4 size Bristol board paper and a Rotring Isograph technical pen. The only idea I had in mind at this time was that I wanted to make a doodle mostly based on scallops. I'm making all sorts of scallop shapes here and varying their height and their width and the design that's inside of each scallop and filling in some areas in black. At some point I started getting tired of just drawing scallops. I felt that it was really limiting. After I rewatched the video, I thought it actually looked kind of cool, but as I was drawing it, I felt it was a bit tedious. So I did add a bit of zigzags and stripes and circles. After drawing for a little while, I felt that I needed to take a break and come back to it the next day. And then I felt that I didn't want to continue this doodle and cover the whole page. Sometimes when you cover the whole page with a design, it's sort of overwhelming and it takes away from the design. And when only part of the page is covered, it looks totally different. Even though I didn't plan this shape, I thought, let's leave it like this and use some watercolor on the background. And I'm really happy I did because I really enjoyed it. This is not watercolor paper, but it can take a wash. It took the paint very well. I even like some of the transparencies and hard edges that resulted from applying watercolor to this paper. When you use the same tool on different kinds of paper or when you use different tools on the same kind of paper, something happens. It's like suddenly you see things differently. You make different things from what you would make if you use the same tool on the same paper all of the time. After the watercolor dried, I wanted to add some design to the watercolor and I had this idea that if I'd use these Faber-Castell water-based markers, they create a softer line, much softer than the black line. I thought it would be a nice transition from the very hard lines of the black doodle to the watercolory area in this doodle and I kept it scallop shaped so it sort of relates to the black and white part of this drawing. That was what I had in mind and I, I'm kind of happy that I went with that and I sort of tried to balance out the shape on the page because it was feeling that it was tilted to the left a little bit so that's why I added the blue scallops that kept going to the right. And then I used this copper marker to make some circles. I tried to vary the circles. Some of them were clustered together and were pretty big and some areas have only small circles in them. I really love the color of this marker, but I don't love the smell of this marker. It has a very strong smell and it gives me a little bit of a headache. I was really happy with the white border, but in the process of making this piece, I got some watercolor and some dirt on the white border and I didn't like that. So I thought, I might want to fill in the border in black and I didn't like the way that was looking so I compromised by cutting out the border. I think it would have looked much better with a white border and next time I might be more careful with the border or maybe even tape it so that it'll stay clean. I hope this inspires you to try some experimentation of your own. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and share on social media. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so and I will see you next time.